welcome to our book corner. Today I'm going to read to you a book called Bob. This is one of our favorite books. Bob by Tracy Campbell Pearson. That's Bob. Bob, a rooster, lived with a bunch of chickens. The chickens clucked all day long, and so did Bob. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Where's Bob? One day, Henrietta, the cat, told him the truth. Bob, she said, you are not a chicken. You are a rooster. You need to stop clucking and learn how to crow so you can wake up all the girls every morning. That's what roosters do. Will you teach me? asked Bob. No, said Henrietta. I am a cat. Cats don't crow. I can only teach you how to meow. So Bob learned how to meow. And then he went off in search of a rooster. Meow, 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 meow. Bob walked and he walked until he met a dog. He learned how to woof and wag, but a dog is not a rooster. So Bob continued down the road. Meow, meow, woof, wag. That's a silly rooster, isn't it? Bob walked and walked until he found a pond full of frogs. Look at the frogs. He learned how to ribbit and hop, but a frog is not a rooster. So Bob continued down the road. Meow, meow, woof, wag, ribbit, ribbit, hop, hop. Oh, what's next? Bob walked and walked until he came to a field of cows. He learned how to moo and he tried to chew his cud, except he didn't have one. Bob decided to eat bugs instead. Mmm. Do you like bugs? But a cow is not a rooster, so Bob continued down the road with a belly full of bugs. Meow, meow, woof, wag, ribbit, ribbit, hop, hop, moo, yum, yum, bugs. Bob walked straight out of the day and into the night searching for a rooster that might teach him how to crow. Walking through the darkness, Bob got scared. He was sure he was being followed. Bob was quiet. Something up there. Then a stranger called out, Not wanting to be rude, Bob whispered back, Bob, Bob, Bob. Again, the stranger called out, Woo, woo, woo. And again, Bob whispered, Bob, Bob, Bob. Is that silly? And so it went all night long, over and over again, until the first morning light, when Bob heard, What's he going to hear? What do you think? Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. There in the middle of the road was a bird who looked a lot like Bob. His name was Fred and he taught Bob how to crow. Can you guys crow with me? Cock -a -doo -doo -doo. It was dark by the time Bob walked all the way home. He settled in for the night, being careful not to wake the girls or Henrietta, the cat. Look over here. Look at there's a path. Oh, who's coming down the path? Bob was too excited to sleep, so he was wide awake when the fox came. He let out a big cock a doo doo, -doo but that didn't scare the fox. Oh no!
And then Bob called out aloud, meow, 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 woof, 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 ribbit, ribbit, hop, hop, moo, yum, yum, fox. The fox, terrified and amazed by all the animals in the coop, especially the one that sounded hungry for fox, ran home never to return. Okay, he scared him. And from then on, every morning, Bob woke the girls and Henrietta up with a crack a doodle -doo. Or if you felt like it, a meow, woof, ribbit, moo, yum, yum, bugs. That's a silly rooster. I hope you enjoyed our story. Mmm, yum, yum, bugs. See you next time.